All right, we're on exponential decay. This is 8.2, and we are talking about um, some depreciation. Now, we just talked about graphing, so let's talk about depreciation. And basically, what this is saying is write an exponential function to model the situation, then estimate the value of the function after five years. Population has 230 animals that decrease. Now, this is what we were doing, right? We were saying that A equals P. 1 plus r over n to the nt. Right? This is what we were saying. Well, this is if we're having something grow, right? Where n stands for the number of times a year. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to assume, I know what you know that they say about assuming, but you know what? Uh, we're going to assume that n is 1, is what we're going to do. Um, meaning that only happens once a year. Okay, so if we're talking about growth right now, there it is, assuming that it only happens once a year. That's our formula. But this is the formula for growth. I want the formula for decay. So instead of addition there, okay, instead of addition, we are actually going to do subtraction because we are depreciating. So it's actually a subtraction sign that goes in there. So it starts with 230 animals, right? And it decreases an annual rate of 19%. So I write that as 0.19, and I want to know it after five years. So really what we're looking at is, we're really looking at 230 times 0.81 to the fifth power. So I plug that in my calculator, 230 times 0.81 to the fifth power. I end up getting 80.2, uh, and it says uh, round the nearest whole number, so it would just be um, 80 as your answer. So that means within five years, if a population of animals was decreasing, it would be 230. All right, a company had a total debt of uh, $320,000, and then it was able to reduce its debt 15% each year. So once again, we're going to use the formula, and since we're talking about decreasing the debt, right? And remember, it would be ends there, but N stands for one because we're doing this annually. Um, the debt was $320,000, right? $320,000. And one minus, they're reducing it by 15% each year. So we want to know, approximate the company's debt in 1987. All right, so in 1987, that means uh, it was seven years that it took for all this to happen. So 320000 and that gives me 0.85 to the seventh. So let's see what we get. 320, 1, 2, 3, and we have 0.85 to the seventh. We end up getting, and they said they want it to the nearest uh, thousand. So we'll go with um, 102, 5, 8, 4.66. Um, eight is what we have. To the nearest thousandth, I guess, we would round up to $103,000. Um, if we round to the nearest thousand. Uh, so basically, he reduced in seven years his debt, which is uh, pretty darn good. I mean, you seven years, you reduced it by more than half. A um, piece of equipment costs $85,000 new, but depreciates at 15% per year. So... Same formula, A equals P, 1 minus R to the T. Um, 85,000 goes there, 1 minus 0.15, and T is 10. So this is 85,000, 0.85 to the 10. So 85,000, 0.85 to the 10 power, and we end up getting 16. And that looks nothing like a six. Sixteen seven hundred and thirty four. So sixteen thousand seven hundred and thirty four point three two.
So that piece of equipment was 85000 Now it's only worth $16,734. Um, imagine if you bought a car here for 95000 right? A equals P1 minus RT, right? And we're saying that was $95,000, uh, 1 minus 0.14, and T. So we actually have 95,000, and that gives me 0.86 to the 10th power. So 95,000.86 to the 10th. And that car that you bought 10 years later, which you got to keep in mind, um, $100,000 car is you know, a pretty pricey car, but there is how much the item would cost in 10 years. So um, other than that, the keys here are to remember that this is your formula. All right, this is the main formula to keep in mind. N stands for the number of times a year. That's why I took it out, because we were talking about it only happening once a year. So that's why we got rid of it. This formula right here stands for growth. All right, that formula stands for growth. And decay, which is what we just talked about, this is the formula for decay. So if you have any other questions or concerns, please let me know.